Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. You already know why you're here. You know why you click the video. I'm basically here to give you guys the real fix on how to fix your jump shot in NBA 2K17 after acquiring the jump shot creator. Now, a lot of people made a bunch of different videos. I watched Man Man videos. I watched Jay Easy video. Um, I watched a bunch of different people video and you know, Jay Easy had it almost down packed with how to fix it. Uh, Man Man Groundhart, he really didn't give you like the the real juice on how to fix it but he was just basically like hinting to what you need to do but basically i'm gonna give you the whole rundown so number one what you want to do is you want to go ahead and end this you want to go to 2k nav right now you want to go to your my player inventory when you go to nba pro am animations you want to check what jump shot you have now you guys see here that i have rudy gay and that it loads up and it actually shoots it's not glitch i'm not standing around so once you do that, you figure out what jump shot you have. You want to come down to jump shot creator. Now, if you have any saves whatsoever, you want to delete every single one. Now, what you want to do is you want to create one jump shot, right? Now, I'm not going to create a jump shot because I don't want to mess my character up again. So what you want to do is you want to create that jump shot. Then after you create it, you want to come back to my player inventory, go back to jump shots. You want to go to the shots and you want to equip that shot now after you equip that shot you want to back out right don't go anywhere go to your friends list right just check and see if anybody is online or whatever you know what i'm saying and then i'm just going to go ahead and invite somebody that's not playing 2k right now you invite them to your court right once they come to your court you put up a few shots or whatever right put up a couple shots and then you go in and you say okay let's play one-on-one -on -one. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you want to go to the play now screen on play with friends and then it'll have the option for you to 1v1. Now, what you have to do is when you play in a 1v1, you actually have to shoot. Uh, somebody's video, they said you didn't have to do anything, just let them score all the points. No, you have to shoot to make sure the jump shot that you equip, whether however wacky it was or however the blending was or whatever, you need to make sure that that jump shot that you made is actually equipped so after you take i guess your first shot or whatever and you see that is the jump shot that you made then either you can score all the points or they can score all the points it doesn't matter after that just make sure that that jump shot is equipped now after you win the game or lose the game you want to go back into my player inventory right and make sure that the jump shot is still equipped then after you get out of there you want to go back to jump shot creator then you want to delete that jump shot that you made all right i know it i know it sucks but you have to delete that jump shot now once you go back to my player inventory after deleting the jump shot you want to equip any shot that you like now remember you can only do this one time all right so pick whatever person's jump shot you like the most whether it's ardrich curry lillard gay john wall whatever it, but it has to be an nba jump shot i wouldn't trust the release ones the 127 or the high school jump shots or the rad or ronnie 2k or anything like that use an nba player's jump shot okay and once you equip that jump shot you want to actually exit my career because you need it to register as saving to your character now after you do that you want to come back into my career go back up to my player inventory after coming back in you want to check the jump shot again and make sure it is equipped now a lot of people said if you equipped m simon's jump shot in my park that it will register your jump shot creator jump shot that's a lie do not do that because all it's going to do is m mess up your character even more so if you don't want your got during uh shot meter to snatch back make sure you do not equip any of those jump shots remember equip a nba jump shot now we are on the last step of this once you do that and you check to make sure that you have the nba jump shot equipped you want to come over just grab a basketball real quick and make sure you put up at least like three shots just to check the jump shot and you'll see that um it's still on rudy gay now once you do that and you put up those like three or four shots you want to go into my park all right you want to go into my park and then once you go into my park guys 
go to the 2v2s okay this is probably going to be the easiest way to do it because if you go to 3v3s there's going to be more help defense so once you go into my park pick a friend or you know whoever or the person that you even played to test out the jump shot pick them go to the 2v2s and tell them that you need screens all day long so when they start setting screens you can just come around up oh, there, there goes the screen and do the jump shot now do not use square guys square some, something is totally wrong with square and square will actually make your jump shot snatch back on a shot meter you have to use the analog stick and you have to time it right okay you have to time it if you don't time it right it's going to snatch back on you so make sure you use the analog only pull down on the analog and it'll work for you all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna list these steps on screen for you um for the outro of this video so so basically you can see everything that you need to do and um i hope everybody you know uses this video i hope that it, it really helps everybody because there's a bunch of different videos out there to, to tell you how to fix it some people said you gotta max out and create all the jump shot slots and stuff like that don't do none of that crazy stuff just listen to the uh to what i'm saying and um read the instructions on screen and then your jump shot will be fixed so uh this is your boy ikc signing out man um i do want to thank man man and jay easy for uh their videos because it actually helped me figure out the the real way to fix it so you know those videos were helpful i used a few of those steps so you know good looking on that fellas but um everybody i hope this works for you man i hope you can come back to the to the park and, and hit them wet wet jump shots you hear me but um i know a lot of people they're just as a disclaimer are gonna say well why can't i use a jump shot creator shot at the park um why why won't it work why can't i do that because jump shot creator is broken okay ladies and gentlemen jump shot cre i'm gonna say it again jump shot creator is broken do not use it use an nba jump shot and you'll get them greens back okay if you've been missing out on them greens you'll get them back and if anybody needs any proof i streamed last night as well as i played a bunch of games yesterday and the green ranger is back trust and believe that i i've been i've been bitching and moaning for about a week now on what what the fuck is up with my jump shot but the green ranger is back and it, and it all comes down to me going out there looking for the fix and finding out the fix for y'all man so i hope it helps man this is your boy ikc signing out we green Thank you.